Hello and welcome to the Soul Freedom Show. This is your host Lokesh Baba. Our website is soulfreedom.org and uh, we are on YouTube Live as well as on Black Block Talk Radio and our special guest today is Dr. Octavio Rettig and Dr. Rettig is a physician and a surgeon. He's also the author of the book in Spanish called Buffo uh, Alvarius, The Toad from Down. And he's currently traveling around the world speaking at conferences about his research on the ancient use of a powerful substance extracted from the Sonora Desert Toad and its relation to the evaluation, uh, evolution of man under the auspices of the United Nations and the WHO. Over the last few years, Dr. Reddick has been conducting research on the ancient sacred use of 5-MeO-DMT in the Sonora Desert. Three years ago, he introduced the use of this medicine to the Seri tribe to successfully treat methamphetamine addicts. He learned the ancient rituals, chants, and rites of the Seri tribe and became an apprentice of Don Poncho, a Seri elder shaman. And uh, with that, without further ado, I welcome my very special guest, uh, Dr. Ottavio Retic. Hi, do uh, hi, Dr. Ottavio. How are you doing? Uh, hi, uh, Lakesh. I'm, I'm really good. I'm pretty good. And thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to me to be here with you. Yeah, it's very nice to be talking to you here. Uh, and for our guests here, especially people who are uh, learning more about you uh, for the first time, why don't you give us uh, just a little bit of background about yourself? Okay, I'm a 35-year-old Mexican physician. I started uh, with psychedelics uh, when I was uh, pretty young. I've been uh, working with this medicine for the last eight years. Uh, I've been a, a, a graduated physician for, for the last 12 years of my life. And uh, I've been working with, with this for the last uh, uh, um, uh, almost decade of my life. And since five years ago, I started an active research here in Sonora with this uh, medicine. And uh, I wrote my, my, my book about how this substance uh, saved my life. Because bef uh, before I tried this uh, uh, therapy with uh, uh, anyone, I did it with myself in an auto-healing uh, process that it will be uh, never-ended. Because uh, I learned through time that we, we are in a society and we got many habits and there is a lot of... Uh, misunderstood uh, subjects out there, so we always uh, will be learning about us and nature and healing. It's a process of uh, keeping uh, a balance on, on your life, so it will take all my life to share uh, the, the knowledge that I, that I got from, from, from this uh, unique species of toad. So I've uh, I I put in all my efforts to share the the personal experience, but also building some social institution that works actively for the rights of the earth and also the rights of of uh, the First Nations people and the ancient technologies contained in, in all the plants and, and also the animals, like uh, Bufus alvarius. Right, and you currently live in Mexico, right? So uh, do you uh, belong, were you born in Mexico? I, I was born in uh, Ciudad Guzman, Jalisco, also called Zapotlan. It's a, a city in the uh, center of uh, the, the West Mexico in two hours from Guadalajara and I grew in Guadalajara I went to med school there in Guadalajara's University and uh, six years ago I moved to, to Sonora and I've been living here in Hermosillo oh, since then okay and what about uh, have you learned any of these plant medicines about these plant medicines from any teachers or shamans or how did you experience them well um, 
I believe that the first uh, uh, um, approach with nature and natural medicine, it must be all the teas and all the the usages that my grandma uh, gave to to all the plants that that she that she grew, and also food because all the the food that makes you feel good it's also natural and simple. So after being uh, a kid and start uh, having some illnesses and then being a teenager and start using uh, most dangerous substances as alcohol and tobacco permitted by society and learn uh, in media and uh, everywhere. So I I get sick of uh, my egocentrism and my necessity of being experiencing more of everything every day. So I start using cannabis and also the rest of the illegal drugs that were available on the streets when I was a teenager uh, around uh, 95 or 96. Uh, then I took some sleeping pills. So I was a complete imbecile for a few days after that. And in my mind and also in my heart, I knew that prescription drugs were uh, more dangerous than even illegal drugs and also the legal and available substances. But there was a confusion in, in, my, in my head because society and um, science and uh, teachers and uh, religion and everywhere show you about the fear and the consequences of doing something that is forbidden. And uh, by then, most of the activities that this same system allowed to me were harmful. So, in comparison uh, with uh, or compared with uh, weed or even coke, it was differences between the teachings and my own learnings. So I was confused. But I was so young and everything was about prohibition and punishment. So like everyone else I tried to to stay under the radar for many things. But uh, sooner or later uh, substances and drugs lead you to this function. So when I was 18, uh, I was caught with a little bit of weed, and then the cops uh, asked for for some uh, money. So I didn't have the money, and I ended in uh, in this uh, temporary jail for. 48 hours when I was just 18 and I was in med school. So for me, the pressure about the system was breaking my own life because after using for some years uh, recreational drugs and then going to med school, to learn about physiology and biochemistry and pathology and all the different uh, uh, branches of, of, of science and medicine and human body functions and dysfunctions, then I just got it. I was in the middle of a really sick society and all the rules were inspired by interests that were beyond the health and the uh, wellness for people. So corporation and health 
and foods and chemicals and also prohibitionism and uh, illegality were this uh, pot to cook some uh, soup that it was really bitter but at the same time lead me to enlightenment and freedom and everything was really because plants and the toad that came to me after when I finished my career at age 23 I start with real psychedelics I mean salve divinorum, then mescaline, then uh, mushrooms, then I went with, uh, through, uh, to the semi-synthetics uh, LSD and MDMA and then I start smoking crack cocaine and suddenly I lost everything and I spent three years and a half being a crackhead trying to escape or heal or change or shift or improve or grow in that misery and was uh, impossible until I got uh, the first experience with the total medicine and I got this little time of uh, uh, breed, uh, free breed or, or that bread show me freedom again. The, the, the thing is that after that first moment with this medicine I uh, wait for the opportunity to go and have a more amount and then I start my own healing process with, with this substance and uh, a few months later, maybe 18 months, I was completely uh, recovered of my auto-destructive patterns and all the feelings that uh, uh, make the actions and also the thoughts and also the feelings and all that impulses are just gone. That I, uh, since I will be seven years now since I just stopped smoking crack and start uh, having a, a healthy lifestyle and uh, it will be three and a half years ago when I, uh, I went to the Seri community to start my research uh, healing and treating crystal meth addicts among the young population there and uh, two years ago I started uh, traveling all over Mexico and uh, until today ten countries and uh, I, I, I gave more than 5,000 sessions, I, I, I got uh, almost 3,000 testimonials of people and uh, I mean I, I'm a, a living testimonial that the message that I'm uh, uh, talking it's, it comes from the bottom of my soul and not from the bottom of my uh, desire or my necessity or whatever uh, can make some people uh, deal with all the the pressure and also to try to educate everyone about the importance of the respect of our mother earth and also that we need to do something about the fact that we're still alive breathing and we got the chance to do something with that energy that uh, created all and um, sacred medicines and this unique spe species of, of toad contain uh, encoded language inside of their being that can easily make humans understand that uh, the Big Bang uh, it's uh, a process that still uh, occurring everywhere and inside of us there is this dying and renewal every day and every moment so we will have the chance yeah to choose something better for us but we also need some fuel 
to move the, the machinery inside of us. And we work uh, uh, um, about, and we are the substances. All our processes are with these molecules. And we cannot be uh, separated. And we cannot be step away or we cannot still ignoring that our origins are really below our feet and also above our heads. But we will we we need to look first uh, in the past. We need to go in the lost history of humankind. We need to look first in all the uh, archival. Uh, our archives. We need to to look in the memory of the elders and in the societies that still been uh, in in function after uh, all the mess that we are doing uh, to the world. So I got a second chance in my life with this medicine, and all my hope it's put in humans after they try and they remember that we all are one and that's not a concept, that's a, a real paradigm that we need to to make uh, possible for understanding to, uh, to everyone on this planet. As sooner as better. Right, right. Wow, that's great. Um, so what can people expect or what kind of transformations you've seen in people after having this medicine and what can people expect if they're having it for the first time? Okay, this is, this is uh, complex because we people are different because our expectations of life so the set and the setting is really important for all these experiences. But it's not just about what the people are expecting for them. It's also about what, what people think and feel and know about uh, the thing that they were about to do. I mean, it's, uh, it's been easier every time to people to go into the um on the strictable on yeah on the strictable fact that this is a medicine and it's good for everyone to do it so when you stop the fear and you get the confidence that's the first step when right. you got the awareness that everything is just a perception of your mind and you are creating your your own reality at every second uh, and these plants or, or, or medicines or this medicine of, of ODAC or the Bufsalvarius medicine or the toad medicine or 5-MAO uh, uh, DMT or any name that we want to use to, to call this but this energy contained in this, in this toad uh, give people the opportunity and show them how to work and how to process and how to perceive perceive themselves from a different point of view. And this point of view is completely different than all the different or, or all the places or all the 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 levels or or, or all the stages that the rest of the psychedelics uh, 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 give, or, or uh, yeah. Uh. So the experiences you mean are different. Uh, so according to you, you're saying it's. Are you saying it's better than other psychedelics, or it's? Uh, I I think that for my perspective and for therapeutic 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 uses, this is the best. A uh, tool that uh, nature has created until today, because there is nothing that humans need need to do to process it. 
or or for uh, the obtainance of of the of the molecule, and also the toad suffer no harm after the the squeezing of the of the glands. So this is like uh, harvesting something or milking something or collecting something instead of killing something or cutting off something or destroying something. Like in terms of uh, um, sustainability are eco-friendly ways of thinking and living this substance are, and this toad and this medicine and the effects that gives to people are the, 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 the prime, are the best of all the, the substructs that are out there. And maybe in the line of uh, the evolution of our species, this is something new because uh, it's related with the use of the fire. But in terms of the, the age of the molecules and the interaction with humans, this is, this is our origins. Like, that's why all the different tryptamines that are in the mushrooms, in the, in the ayahuasca, in the yobo tree, in the uh, ibogaine, and also the, the, the uh, phenyl phenylethylamines like the peyote, and the semi-synthetic substracts as MDMA or LSD that are recreating something that already exists in nature. I mean, all these uh, properties of substances and all the effects that gives to people are in a different category of the effects provided by, by Bufus alvarius. Not only because this, is, this comes from an animal, but also because the way of ingestion has to do with breeding and also the absorption of this molecule that is faster by the breeding or smoking or inhalation or insufflation that all of these are techniques that are normal and are uh, natural and are uh, um, possible to to have with the simple things in life. So, in in terms of changing the characteristics of one species, I really believe that this mechanism of uh, introducing a medicine or a, 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 a drug or a substance in our bodies, it's faster with the toll than with the rest of the substances. Also, it's stronger and also the intensity cannot be speculated or ca calculated or put it in a limit because you can put people inside of a room to breathe for hours this toll uh, substance because uh, there is not the same or is not the same or there is not the same uh, effects or results with the bufotenin or with the powder made with the dried uh, 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 substance of the bufosal berries than with the smoked uh, medicine or the, the, the breeding substances after the perfect combustion and the right uh, inhalation. But everything is just about things that exist in this planet since thousands of years ago, since always. Like uh, the amnesia or the memory loss uh, that we achieve is, re is recent. We just don't remember that we use this kind of uh, technologies because we live in fear of going crazy and losing our safety but that um, that fake feeling of being safe or doing right it's just uh, an illusion yeah. because most part of the world now 
are suffering for the uh, hate that we feel uh, for ourselves. We feel hate for life because we don't know nothing about death. We, we believe also in death because we don't know nothing about real life. So nature, through ayahuasca, through the mushroom, through even the substances that recreate these properties of nature uh, by uh, human hands like LSD or MDMA and all the rest of substances that any human can uh, be discovered from nature, it's just a little tiny proof about the importance of these energies for the life in this planet. Because uh, tryptamines and the all, uh, call, uh, hallucinogens substances are really the bricks that the wall that uh, it's the part of the house that we live in it's made from. So we can still play in crazy or we just try to learn and experience. So when you have the first experience with this substance you can maybe be in fear but, mo but, but most part of this fear will be gone after the first session. The first session is it can be um, pleasant or unpleasant depending how people breathe, how people work uh, with the breath and with the substance and with the energy and also uh, if they are uh, familiarized, uh, yeah, if they got uh, some background uh, uh, of using any kind of uh, psychedelics before but it doesn't matter at the end of the day if someone has some knowledge or some experience with any psychedelic because this cannot be compared and also people who never had any experience with any substance before they just can get the exercise of having this uh, intake of this medicine and dealing with the energy that they are feeling inside instead of twisting, rolling in the floor, uh, screaming, uh, crying or I mean this purge by or this catharsis or this healing process that occurs with people breathe in the medicine it's a process that it's uh, in progression every time they will learn something about about the last experience and that memory will give you the the chance to make it easier and make it better this has nothing to do with tolerance or the people who has the 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 re, re, the memories the live like they are living again the same experience after days is not so, something as a flashback that you are just uh, recreating uh, um, barely is <laughs> because your body is producing this uh, naturally so you will feel again the same uh, uh, experience that you had with the ingestion of the medicine and with the time people can learn about how to uh, stimulate uh, their own bodies and their minds to produce this naturally because also we know that there is many other ways to show a human being how to know that he is the center of the universe but most part of humans just don't have the time or the discipline to go and do something for real. We need always uh, help and in these modern times that uh, when we are thinking about the sacred pill or the magic pill or the instant uh, healing, I really believe that this talk it's, it's uh, all that we are looking for because 
with all the natural substances, no one needs to uh, take nothing uh, 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 synthetic, and also the prohibition is just making that all the 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 people who lives through delinquency and uh, illegal activities, they are also making a profit and taking an advantage of the situation. So I believe that the right way and the smart way to think and act is with uh, coherency and with uh, honesty and everything is about uh, experiencing and having more wisdom of, of life. And you can sit in a room and listen a guy talking or you just come in through the source of life with uh, all the the ancient technologies and uh, go and see and learn and um, gain more than than on the outside or on the exterior, exterior or through human um, um, yeah uh, science or society or or education or even schools. I mean, I, I want to say that if we fusion the the ancient knowledge and the nature and the nature knowledge with all the uh, technologies uh, generated by by humans in this time that we really need uh, 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 to uh, to relax and to breathe and to just chill and get the fact that uh, competition between countries or people is just making this uh, a little bit more complicated for the next generations and also for us now. So right. it's time to build a new society and it's time to farming, it's time to growing food, it's time to respect the, the knowledge of the grandmas and all the, the plants that are the, the source of life and, uh, and the, the source of, of our intelligence. So my, my project Bufus Alvarius now with the Seri community and now with the some international uh, health organizations and culture uh, uh, organization organizations are lead to create serial places around the world with people who are already growing organic food and making things uh, good for them and for the environment and show and share all the different uh, medicines of nature because here in Sonora, in Mexico, we got the toad that was forbidden and forgotten for centuries, and uh, that we all uh, we are bringing back just a, a few uh, years, and maybe in the general knowledge, maybe a, a few decades ago. But also in South America, they have the cambo, that is the, the green frog from Amazonian rainforest. And we also got the yopo tree that contains also the same 5-MAO DMT than the toad. And we also, also got the, the, the ayahuasca. We also got many other plants that we just don't know that exist, and we still destroying the, the forests and the jungle and polluting the water and, and the air and spreading more fear and more noise with our own uh, ignorance about what's inside of us and outside there. So uh, we all are building this, this reality because we all are one and we all are in the same uh, spaceship and we all are in the same movie and the history, it's the same for all of us sooner or later. So I now believe in the story of my life. Now I believe in the story of the plants and the story of the of the nature and the history that uh, humans told me is now just a, a, a fair tale or a nightmare, uh, a, a horror. Uh, yeah, it's uh, awful 
how people still denying the fact that we got the power to do whatever we want or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, there's so many threads <laughs> from that conversation I wanted to pick on, but I'll pick uh, Ayahuasca because, uh, I mean, personally, I've been uh, researching on Ayahuasca uh, for a few months now, and me and my wife are planning to go to either uh, Brazil or Peru to, to Ayahuasca ceremonies. So I wanted to ask you, uh, how do you, what do you think about uh, people going to Peru and Brazil for ayahuasca ceremonies, and how does that compare to the? Okay, he, here is Indian? here's the deal. Ayahuasca is sacred and it's beautiful and it's uh, a mother among the and a teacher among the teachers, and it really has the the strength and all the wisdom to show humans what's inside of, of, of her. But also, we are not being efficient in the construction of a structure that allows everyone to have these experiences. So I'm a little bit concerned, as many of the Taitas that I talk with, about the, the, the rainforest being uh, 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 dis destroyed and, and in danger, in danger also because humans need to be healed. So now I, I think that we need to, to plant the seed that will make a, 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 grow, a, a tree grows but the ayahuasca that people are drinking today, it's an arbol, it's a tree of ayahuasca that was born 35 years ago and maybe more. So I really know that we are at least 35 years delayed. Like uh, we are, we are late. It, it's 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 late for many things now. And we need to put our efforts not in proof that ayahuasca works. Everyone who has taken ayahuasca knows that ayahuasca works. All the people who live in the other side of, of the veil from the fear and all this ignorance and all prohibitionism are made that you don't know really what are you drinking if you are going to South America to drink uh, Ayahuasca, because also ayahuasca, it needs to be manufactured by human. So, since my perspective, and from my point of view, I believe that Toad and Buf Salverius can give not only humans the medicine that they need, but also a relief uh, to all the Amazonian uh, tribes and for the rainforest. Because uh, uh, for uh, um, harvesting or farming or growing the toad, we just need to protect the land. Like, uh, I've been doing this for years and I got the medicines, uh, all the medicine that I gave, I collected myself. And this year, uh, the Seri community helped me with the collect of the medicines, so I got more medicine than never before, than ever before. But also I know that the medicine that we are uh, collecting is just a little sample of all the medicine that is out there because we don't have the infrastructure to collect the medicine. Because this uh, process, it's completely natural, but also needs some factors to, 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 be, complete, to be completed. Uh, and those factors has to do with food, with water, with light, and really see things that if we, as a unique planet, actually we are working on that, but I cannot uh, tell or say something that it's not uh, made yet. So I'm just, mm -hmm. uh, now I'm, I will talk about the future and what yeah. will happen with the told medicine. Sure. I believe that the future and the solution is creating natural reserves or personal or familiar or reserves 
around all Sonora Desert, and this should start in, in the United States uh, uh, land. Uh, in all the, the, the land of the toes, lights should be spreaded. Mm -hmm. So people can go like the toads looking for the light under the posts of light. I mean, like the toads uh, go to feed themselves under the light posts because the light attract the insects. Mm -hmm. And I've been um, running after the light posts that are in the most um, far uh, parts of Sonora Desert because there is no pavement or concrete or, I mean, mm -hmm. human evolution and human civilization has not destroyed yet the land of the Toad. So the Toad just live in these little towns where, and I mean, I just can go and catch the toads in these little towns because all the rest of the desert, it's dark and it's impossible to go there and look for the toads. So the future are these huge uh, extensions of land preserved by the natives and the Mexicans and the organizations of people around the world calling the Americans to make this happen possible uh, sooner uh, because if we wait that someone uh, uh, makes makes it happen for us, we will still wait in maybe another decade or 20 years. And I think that we don't have the time. So, uh, also in our desert, it's the land of the toad, and in all the desert, there are toads. But I and the rest of the people that are working with this medicine, we are limited in the medicine that we can uh, collect because the technology and the infrastructure to get it, that it's so simple, but it's also something that needs to be done and needs to be done for everyone because I am not the owner of the toad or the desert or the medicine or even the knowledge. I just want that everyone in this planet and mainly the people who were suffering or, or people who are suffering just like I, like I was, uh, have the chance to heal and to be free and to forget about having to buy something in a store to feel something for being happy. Like happiness, happiness is inside of us and we are losing uh, um, with the time or faculties or, uh, or skills because we don't move, we don't do uh, enough uh, uh, exercise because we eat a lot of stuff that it's uh, a venom poison and also because we are waiting for something to happen to us and we need to do it. So I think that I'm doing it just with the, 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 the sharing and now it's just a matter of time. How long it will take until the last human knows that the toads are out there and the real healing, it's putting all the medicines together. Because you will only have one experience of toad, and maybe you, you, you will just have some of hundreds of experiences of ayahuasca, maybe people in Santo Daime Church and the peyote ceremonies and all the people who are still taking plants uh, since... Uh, years ago and some of them are still in the same place. So I really believe that the unification of all the plants and the creation of the ways of sharing these uh, medicines are the future and that's our task and that's our homework and we need to do it. Yeah, yeah. so talking about uh... Ayahuasca and DMT, uh, 5-MeO-DMT, from what I know, 
the 5 MU DMT experience just lasts uh, only a few minutes, like 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, so uh, what do you say to the fact that there's not enough time to integrate the experiences or to learn from the experience? Do you think that's enough time? And also, do you think that it's an addictive thing, like people want to do it again and again? Or no, uh, let me, let me, uh, yeah. Well, uh, you cannot be addicted, addicted to something that it's not a drug, or you cannot have uh, some side effects or some dangerous side effects with something that it's not dangerous. And in this case, not even ayahuasca or the toad or the mushrooms are dangerous. The fact that this is really short, uh, the ayahuasca or ibogaine are longer, it makes no difference at, 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 the, at the end of the day because this is also about intensity. And you will get uh, the same in 5 minutes or 15 minutes than in 1 hour or 6 hours because this is stronger but also it's different because uh, the effects that gives you are quite not like the ayahuasca effects or the mushrooms effects or the LSD effects and it's so strong that uh, people can just go into this uh, other, completely other dimension and the body can just be lying there and some people can have uh, like really really strong uh, uh, heating and rolling and twisting but that's not even um, uh, important at the end of the day like the the trance it's not what is important for taking the toad medicine. Taking the toad medicine it's for the benefits that you will have after the effects of the toads go away. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. Other thing is that the experience of the toad uh, don't end when the effects of the medicine goes. Your real experience with the toad medicine begin when the effects of the toads go because then you will need to learn how to work right. with your feelings, with your emotions, with your thoughts and we don't have the right society to work and deal with all this because all the people that are in a process we want to send them uh, with the doctor and they want to put them into medication or send them into a hospital or into a mental facility. So we don't have really the places to work uh, with the people's um, processes. And when you say about um, processing and having the afterwards work and uh, um, the the assimilation and all this comes with the time so we cannot expect that because we make a circle at the beginning and at the end of some ceremonies there will be not people asking for more attention days or weeks or years after because we need tons of these medicines and we need teachers and teachings and uh, we need to create a new school. We need to create a new uh, 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 library. We need to create a new database because everything that we know it's not what was at the beginning because we just lost the memory about most part of of, of, of substances. We got some examples like ayahuasca, like a bogain, but even the mushroom was completely lost in most part of the world and mushroom is worldwide uh, 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 planned. So, uh, okay, it's not a plant, but the, I mean the, the mushrooms are everywhere and everywhere in the world we have the, the evidence of people in the past 
using one or many different uh, psychoactive substances. Mm -hmm. And we also know that alcoholism and um, cocaine and crack cocaine and crocodile drug and heroin and all the prescription prescription pills that are used uh, for people uh, with the with the um, depression. The, yeah, all this kind of of madness mm -hmm. comes from our ignorance and our disconnection from the nature and the earth. So I know that my health come back to me through the perfect box or the perfect uh, package and this package has four extremities, two legs, two arms, this box breathes like me, this toad it's just like me and uh, I am a happy, a happier person than I was in all my life before I, I, I had my first uh, told experience. I had many told experiences. I gave experiences to people from five, uh, five years old to 97 years old, all of them with the consentment oh, of even, uh, the tutor. Yeah. Did you say five years or 25? Five years old, yeah, because uh, it's not the uh, one, it's, it's, has been uh, many kids, uh, maybe between 15 and 20 kids uh, under age of 10 that uh, uh, their parents uh, wanted, what, wanted uh, to them to, to have these experiences. Uh, for um, most of them, behavior and mental and emotional uh, disorders. And uh, I got the confidence and the trust and the completely uh, trust and uh, in the medicine and the, the safety, the confidence that it's safe because uh, this is not something uh, strange for our systems. Mm -hmm. There is not overdose of the toad medicine when you breathe in the, the, the steam produces, pr produced by the combustion. So, and there is no any real sign of the relationship between natural medicines and diseases or problems. Like all the studies with all the psychedelics, with ayahuasca, with LSD, with, and I mean uh, serious uh, uh, research show us that we just have uh, we just have nothing to be afraid of of, mm -hmm. of these uh, compounds that um, and in my own experience I can say that these kids were different in many ways after the experience and uh, quality of life of them and their families were improved uh, after the, the therapies also and also that for kids it's easier to go into these realms of reality because they just have no fears and it happens the same with uh, old people like uh, the elders and uh, the people um, older than 60 they just can have a better relationship with the medicine mm. or if you want to say it their experiences are easier and are, um, yeah. Because more, they're already more relaxed, right? <laughs> yeah, people just have patience mm -hmm. and they don't have fear and they don't have uh, this stress, controlled mind uh, freak inside of their head. And fear, they don't have much fear because they know they're going to die very soon, right? Probably that's one of the reasons. Yeah, and also women are uh, braver than males. Uh, mm -hmm. Some uh, pregnant women had the, the experience also. Mm -hmm. And uh, all kinds of people with all kinds of uh, health conditions. Uh, heart, uh, heart transplanted, 
kidney transplanted, uh, diabetes, uh, high high blood blood pressure, low blood pressure, um, you name it. I mean, uh, until today, there is no uh, counter indication to do this medicine. Uh, just that if you are taking some uh, mono amino acid uh, inhibitors, and it will be because the the potency of the of the substance it will be enhanced, and the time it will be longer. And for some uh, people who are out there listening, this is not uh, a side effect, real really. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people uh, ask for the inhibitor even before the, the, the toes, but it's not necessary. Like uh, the, the thing here is to prove that we don't need to, to process nothing, that we don't need to build or to create or to fabri fabricate more stuff, like uh, nature had everything perfect before we arrived, and uh, our mental uh, craziness is about to be banished with uh, this time it will be no kissing this time it will be breathing in the secretions being combusted <laughs> of this stove like uh, for Mesoamerican cultures uh, from the Olmecs to the Mayans uh, and the Aztecs and all the, the, the people who lived here in Mexico uh, before, all of them believe in the same energy named Quetzalcoatl or Kukulcan. All the legends about the origins of, of our life and our existence are connected also with this uh, hero uh, who was uh, burned in the in the pyre, so humans can exist, and all, all of them still thinking that Quetzalcoatl will return someday, and for all the people who are listening, uh, listen, listening uh, tonight, uh, well, Quetzalcoatl is here, he uh, uh, came back a few years ago, and uh, the effects of that energy that survived for centuries, just like in the past, like Quetzalcoatl, it might be was never a man. Uh, our saviors, it will be maybe never a man. I believe that nature, the source of life, the source of intelligence, the cosmos, the source of uh, the oneness, uh, uh, it's the the, the, the the only way is the truth. And if people in the past believed in this for so long, it was be for something. And if we now are so desperate for going there again, it must be for something there. So in these times, modern times or of internet, uh, uh, lifestyle at 100 miles per hour or more, supersonic and all that <laughs> stuff, yeah, we need to remember that if we want to evolve, we need to go inside of us, and it will be through our food, our habits, our thoughts, our expectations, and our culture. So we now are creating a new culture, and our culture is the culture of the, of the love, it's the culture of all the humans, it's the culture of all the races, it's the culture of all the pasts, of all the stories, because um, in the center or in that school, uh, the only things that you need to get something, it's been there. I don't know how uh, this will be done. I still, uh, day by day, having more friends, uh, meeting more people, and every day, uh, uh, the project is it's bigger, it's stronger. Now with the movie, uh, the message will be uh, spread faster. And I'm, I'm invited to, to the uh, Ayahuasca conference in Ibiza in September 27 to 29, uh, 29. And I, I will uh, uh, talk about 
this about uh, my results with the natives because after working with the series, the Jackies, that it's the, the other uh, native uh, community, uh, they are 45,000 people. They also ask uh, for me to to inter intervene uh, their addicts with this medicine and was also a, a, a success. Uh, and all over Mexico, all over the world, so this is this is just beginning, but this is the endless story. Like I will never end uh, one by one to touch all the humans and uh, we need many Octavios, we need many Toads and we just have one Sonora Desert. So it's about uh, now going into uh, cooperative uh, cooperative mode mm -hmm. and try to work for the world and for the life and for the universe in this earth before trying to 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 go other places or waiting for someone from the series to help us come on let's be realistic and try to do something today because all those seeds needed to be planted three five years ago all those trees should be growing by, by now we are eating the medicine of our grandchildren. We are now taking the resources of the generations of the future. And if we don't make uh, only one time for everyone, then it will be no time for, for right. no one. Yeah. Yeah, so before we end, uh, that was all very interesting and a lot of good stuff there. Uh, before we end the conversation, I wanted to ask you about your future plans. You already mentioned your movie is going to be out soon and you already have a book out. Uh, so uh, can you tell us? Uh, okay, the, the plans are the book uh, needs to be translated in English and uh, other languages. Mm -hmm. The movie uh, it will be done in a few months so then the tour with uh, the presentation of the movie and all that but uh, I'm expecting to open the center on uh, 2015 2016 because uh, uh, I still need a lot of countries to to, to go and um, mm -hmm. also uh, we are working in a book of all the chants of this community because the chants are the, the, the greatest gift that I receive uh, from, from men's like uh, the, the elders Abuelo Pancho and Chapito Barnett and some of the, of the, of the sons of these, these elders like uh, Rael, Miguel and Raimundo they show me a lot of uh, beautiful melodies and when I use these ancient chants in the therapies uh, of the toad, I just I just have seen better results after the two years that I'm uh, that I fusion the chants. So now I'm working also in make a book of the chants and uh, recordings with uh, the the chants for the people to to, to listen. And uh, we are working in, in, in all that. It's a lot of work. And uh, we are doing it with, with all the love because uh, this has saved uh, many lives in a few years. And it can save many more if we go in the, in the right path. Good that here in Mexico we are doing everything uh, with all the, the, the uh, secretaries, with all the laws, with all the different... Uh, areas of government and all the wildlife uh, secretary and everyone mm -hmm. so we are not uh, selling toads we are not selling medicine we are not uh, allowing people to come here and extract the toad because now the natives are protecting the toads so we are uh, inviting people to connect through the community or to myself with this medicine because in my own experience is not uh, the same if you do this alone in your room that if you do this standing looking at, uh, at the sun 
and with the knowledge of the Seri community that it's the first of many uh, tribes here in Mexico that are uh, working with, with the toll uh, in modern times and they are uh, creating also a center in their community so so we can receive people here in Mexico uh, to work with this and also I want to invite people to uh, Sonora on December 20 to 21 uh, we are making the second uh, OTAC uh, festival and uh, it will be in the, the land of the series the land of the chance, the land of the toad, and it's uh, about celebrating life. Uh, it's a winter solstice, and uh, we invite people to to come here and and share the experience with us. Uh, stay tuned for for more uh, information. But this festival of the Bufo medicine, named Otak by the series, it's now uh, something that it's it's a tradition, and it's on December 20 to 21. And also uh, the new year of the Seri community. It's uh, June 30th and, and July 1st. So these two uh, celebrations every year are uh, with the community and with the medicine and are open to to the world. And we are creating these uh, with uh, the medicine, with uh, the the elders, with the community. And with all the power of 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 the of the truth, like uh, even I believe uh, the people who are sick because the narco problem in the world, they also need to to help us to create these places because this medicine can free the world for all the violence of substances, starting with crystal meth, crack cocaine. Cocaine and all the rest of the of the of the poison that uh, still been out there, and we cannot stop uh, the existence of these substances. We can just choose what which substances are we taking, and uh, what are we gonna show to to our kids to to learn in their labs. So that's that's importance of. Educating and sharing uh, uh, a message. Right. Okay, Octavio. Uh, so before we end the call, uh, is there anything else you want to convey? And also, do you want to give out uh, your contact information for our listeners? Okay. Well, my personal email is dr. at hotmail or g. And also, I'm in Facebook uh, as Octavio Reti. I had a, a website, but uh, we are working in a new one because uh, th this work is growing so fast, and uh, the message also it's it's clearer today because most people just know that uh, you can become the princess or the your dreams. You just come with me and kiss the ugliest the toads that I could find and uh, and that uh, uh, daily life that everyone deserves in this planet got the fact that and our inner peace is connected to the and stop in the your your voice is breaking up a little bit Octavio uh, do you mind repeating what you just said for the last minute or so yeah the the well, everything it's just perfect, and it's in uh, eternal improvement. And um, we we expect to um, reach more people this year than in the last years. And 
to also go to United States to share the medicine legally, uh, working through the the the, the world uh, associations of uh, uh, health, mental health, and also UN. So I I can see that sooner or later I will be in US not only for talking or visiting or on vacations. But, but also for uh, healing people, and it's uh, one of my uh, uh, wishes for this uh, year, and I hope that come true like all the rest has. Oh yeah, and it'll be great to see you whenever if you're here in California. Let us know; it'd be great to meet you here. And, okay. Uh, and, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks again, Octavio. I, I just want to give a last message for all the people sure. who are interested in learn about uh, psychedelics and substances. Please go with a real teacher. Uh, forget about all the people who want to become shaman in one day because I went first to med school to learn how to give this medicine and I also was a complete sick person before I was healed through this. So, and also I gave back this medicine to uh, the na native communities uh, of Mexico and also I create this new uh, way to, to work with this medicine and I still learning because all this was made through experience and through work. I'm not following uh, somebody else's step Mm -hmm. I'm doing my own path, and this path has been inspired uh, in my life by nature, by substances, by medicines, and um, uh, I got all the, the credentials and the permits to uh, make this uh, possible for, for the people here in Mexico and in all the countries that, I, that I've been. Has been with uh, all the all the um, all the facilitation and all the 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 the, the, the co-work with authorities. So I hope that uh, U.S. please join the the world health movement instead of uh, the other side of the coin. It's time. Right. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Octavio. Uh, it was a real pleasure meeting you here online and uh, hope to be in touch with you. Thanks a lot. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and Hatipi, God bless you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.